mighty Allah, who is omnipotent and omnipresent. Honorable chief guests, respected guests, teachers, and my dear fellows, assalamu alaikum. Today, the topic under discussion is human rights violations in Indian occupied Kashmir and role of international communities. A place that sacrifices its people just for a sake to get an identity. A place that's been crying since ages. There is a place known as Kashmir, which is burning in the blazes of munition since Indo Pak partition 1947, when Indian armed forces captured about 65% of the territory forcefully against the wishes of Kashmiris. The Kashmiris refused to accept this coercion and stood up to demand their legitimate rights. The stupefying Indian forces started illicit use of power to mute their voices. Since that time, they are involved in killings, assassinations, and detaining of innocent Kashmiris. The condition is getting worse and worse, as Indians are free whatever they want to do with innocent Kashmiris, and UN is playing a role of silent spectator. Indian administered Kashmir is seeing an upsurge of human rights violation, the violation of freedom of speech and free press, freedom of religion and worship, freedom of assembly and right of petition, the right of people to be secure in their homes and free from unreasonable search and seizure. Kashmiri peoples have been arbitrarily arrested and detained. Therefore, the violation of Article 9 of Universal Declaration of Human Rights that no one shall be subjected to arbitrary arrest, detention, or exile. Attacks and restrictions on the peaceful assembly is the violation of right to freedom of expression, Article 19 of Universal Declaration of Human Rights and Free Assembly. The forces are involved in custodial killings, therefore the violation of International Covenant on Civil and Political Rights, Article 6.1. There are 30 articles of Human Rights Charter, which signifies and puts stress on human rights. But the question is that, have human rights institutions succeeded in implementing these charters in IOK? Mr. President, the humanity bewailed on the busyness of human when hundreds of protesters were riddled with bullets in Sirinagar. The humanity bewailed on the busyness of human when a teenager was put to death for a sake of monetary benefit with a false allegation. The humanity bewailed on the busyness of human when 200 military barbarians entered two small villages of Kapwara district and gang raped women ranging from eight years child to 70. Mr. President, before an encounter, we are killed as mistaken identity. During an encounter, we are killed by stray bullets. After an encounter, we are killed to maintain so-called law and order. When we resist, we are portrayed as terrorists. We Kashmiris are killed for nothing. It happens in Nayoke where Indian army just kill our children and go. There is no one to ask India why they are killing Kashmiris every day. No one can feel our pain. What should I mourn now? My brother is killing or my sister is being critical in hospital. IOK is burning with bullets and shells and its suppression is condemnable. Why is the civilized world silent? Where is the international community? A victim child in IOK said, India made me blind. When I remind your resolutions, who made you blind, UN? Kashmir is a core political dispute between India and Pakistan and a case of unfinished partition. The solution to dispute requires only triple upside for whole of the IOK under international auspices unless and until the government of India and international community understands the fact that the issue of IOK can only be resolved when people of IOK will be given their birthright and right of self-determination. Only then we can say that things would possibly move forward. International media should recognize the freedom movement by the civilians on the both sides of Kashmir. So I urge United Nations, United States, United Kingdom, European Union, and world's human rights organizations to take into account the historical dimensions of Kashmir dispute and sufferings and sacrifices of Kashmiris. We shall meet again in Sirinagar by the gates of Villa of Peace. Our hands blossoming into fists 
till the soldiers return the keys and disappear. Again, we will enter a last world. The birds will say, humankind can bear everything. Thank you for it.